Hi, everybody. This is The Real Tea. Um, it's a weekly show where we're going to be spilling the tea on what's happening in the real estate market. Um, we're going to go over things such as the biggest transactions of the week. We're going to talk to an agent or a broker. Um, and then we're just going to tell our audience about some of the hot listings that the agent has. Um, and we actually have Kelly Warren here today with us. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Thank you for joining. And, you know, this is exciting and it's awesome that we're able to do this, um, help some agents and agencies get some exposure in the area. And um, I just think it's fun, fun to do every week. So yeah, I love this sort of thing. And people love to hear about real estate. So I, I think it's nice for the community too. So Kelly, just tell us what is going on in the real estate market? What is the tea? <laughs> <laughs> I think the real estate market's doing good right now. I mean, we, you know, we had the whole COVID scare. Um, yeah. And that did affect our market. Just things slowed down. Everybody was more cautious about listing their homes or going into people's private spaces. But uh -huh. um, as far as real estate market feels, it, it kind of feels like we're past that. Um, people have decided, you know, even though it's something to be cautious about in your life, um, they still have needs to buy and sell and, and they're doing so. Yeah. Um, so the market is, is very strong and very busy right now. Definitely. Um, I can already see like, there's houses going up for sale and multiple offers and just they're oh, yeah. going very, very quick. Yes. Um, so what are some, um, some of your buyers, what are some of the things that they're looking for in a home right now? Um, you know, every buyer has their own different needs, yeah. but in general, people love extra spaces. So mm -hmm. whether it's an extra bedroom or family room or finished basement, anything that they can use as kind of a flex space to use it for whatever their needs are. People love that. Um, outbuildings are always a big hit too. Um, those single floor branch homes, you know, they've been the most popular floor plan forever. They'll continue to be um, people, some people specifically need them and some people just prefer that floor plan. So, uh, you know, it, as much as there's different trends in real estate, there's also those timeless, like, you know, people will buy such and yeah. such. Yeah. Um, so with that being said, what are some of the areas that are mostly sought after? Um, um, usually that goes with school districts. So, you know, okay. we see the, the most in Mahoning County, um, Campfield and Poland, and then of course, Austin Town and Boardman too. Um, people do like the outlying areas like Western Reserve and North Jackson, and then into Trumbull County, um, popular are Howland and Cortland, and then into some of the more rural areas, and then of course with Columbiana County, um, that Columbiana area, and then even into like Lisbon and Latonia and some of the more rural areas there too. You know, each community has their, their best neighborhoods in their communities too, yeah. so yeah. That's awesome. Um, and then also on top of that, so what are the three um, quick things that potential sellers can do to help sell their home faster? I know that the market's really good right now and homes are selling quick, but if you want to put your home on the market, what are some different things that you can do to help sell your home quicker? Number one, declutter. Walk through your house and anything that is just out of place, anything that you don't need or use every day. I tell mm -hmm. people, throw it away, give it away, sell it, just get it out of here. You know, yeah. Yeah. Um, if you can open up that space, people like that. Um, yeah. And you, know, you can rent a storage unit or use like your parents' garage to pack some things up and move them out of there just so that it looks less cluttered and less full. That's always helpful. That's number one. Um, mm -hmm. Number two, I would say the small things like you may have been living with an electrical outlet that doesn't have a cover on it for two years just because you're mm -hmm. like, oh, thing and I'll do it later and it, you, you just kind of get blind to it. You don't even notice that it's there anymore. But things like that for a buyer, you know, it's a $2 fix, but a buyer might think, well, if they didn't take care of that, what else didn't they take care of? And so it can be, you know, it can make a buyer think that maybe the home is neglected in other areas too. So any of those cheap little fixes, if you have a broken latch on your screen door, if you have a torn screen, um, if you have a little hole in a wall, any of that kind of stuff, the cheap little fixes, go through your house and do those. Um, and then third, paint and carpet go a long way and they can be cheap. So I would say do those. And a little bonus one, I know you didn't ask before, but <laughs> yeah. uh, the, the front of the house, the curb appeal, cut the grass, make sure that the windows are washed, maybe plant a little flowers for a pop of color. Just when somebody drives by it, you want them to want to come inside. Yeah. Yeah. I've actually heard a little tip. Um, 
So I don't know if this is true or not, but when you um, have an open house, obviously it's nice to maybe have some waters there for some of the people coming through. Is it true that chocolate chip cookies make people want to buy a home? <laughs> <laughs> they make any of those um, aromas that make it feel like home. So um, a little cheater, um, you know, of course it's nice to have a cookie to pass out to your guests, but um, if you put a little cup of vanilla in the microwave and just turn it on for 20 seconds before you leave, you know, it gives that aroma and you don't have to have a candle lit or go to the effort of baking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's the tea. Yeah. <laughs> so that anyone <laughs> <There's> yourself <no. laughs> But um, yeah, well, those are some awesome tips because I know th there's a lot of different things going on right now and um, that's great for sellers to know in that aspect but um so um speaking about kelly warren and associates um specifically what are some of the listings that you have right now that you want our audience to know about um or any open houses coming up this weekend some of our particular properties yes uh, that one right on top on detwaller drive uh the the best thing about that property that people love that is canfield schools and it has an indoor swimming pool so, you know, there's not too many of those available. Um, that is six acres and it's about almost 5,000 square feet house. It's the original owners um, and it's Canfield Schools that has a little pond and a little barn and the indoor swimming pool. So if wow. you love something unique like that, if you love to entertain, if you've got a big family, um, that's certainly the home. Wow, that, that's very nice. <laughs> indoor <laughs> swimming pool for sure, that's a plus. <laughs> <laughs> um, any other any other listings that you have that you'd want to share? We can talk about the one right next to it on Sparone okay. Drive. Um, that one, what I love about that is it's in an area that's easy for everything. It's right off of Chippy Canoe, um, so you're minutes away from freeways, you're close to grocery stores, you're right by Boardman. Um, it is really a showcase home. Um, a builder was the original builder and owner for it, so they didn't skimp on anything. Um, it's kind of got that Tuscan feel to it. Uh, it it's beautiful. huge also. Um, five bedrooms, five baths, four cars. It's just um, a really big house and um, one of those kind of like timeless fashion houses mm -hmm. too. Yeah, that's really nice. Really nice. Um, any open houses you have for this upcoming Sunday? You know, I'm not sure offhand. I should have looked. <laughs> That's fine. Well, if anyone would want to know where to go um, to find out about open houses, um, could they go, what, what's the website they go to? Uh, KellySoldIt.com? Yes, KellySoldIt.com is our website, and we post them on our social media, too. We have a large following on there, so just Facebook backslash Kelly, Kelly Warren Associates. Um, we put all of our new listings there, so like the day that it comes available, you'll find it right there on um, our Facebook page, and then any new listings or any major price reductions, that kind of stuff, we try and keep updated there, too. Okay, that's awesome. Well, um, is there anything else you want to tell our audience before we end the show today? Yeah, we have a couple of programs that are real great for buyers and sellers alike. Um, okay. We have a removing truck. I believe we're the only company in the Valley that offers that for service, so... Um, wow. For buyers, you know, purchasing a home, you don't pay for your buyer's agent. So that's a free mm -hmm. service. And then um, another free service that we thought, what could we do to help, you know, a little customer service for them and make things easier for them mm -hmm. is we provide this moving truck. It's a 15 foot box truck. They can use that at no cost and gather their friends and, you know, move from point A to point B without having that extra cost or headache of renting a truck or anything. Wow, that's awesome that you do that for yeah. your buyers. That's great. That's great. Um, um, sellers, we have a guaranteed sold program. So if their house doesn't sell, we guarantee to buy it. Um, <laughs> there's a few stipulations on that, but it's a great program that people love. And um, I've been selling real estate for a long time. So um, we invest in real estate as well. And it kind of just came about like, you know, why not put our money where our mouth is and say, yeah. you know, if it doesn't sell, we'll buy it. So yeah. uh, it's been a nice program for us too. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome that you do that. And whenever I go on um, kellysolda.com or I, I hear about you out in the community, um, that is a really major um, point that you guys do get across that you will buy it <laughs> um, if it doesn't sell. So that's great. Um, and also too, we are actually featuring commercial real estate in our upcoming uh, July publication. So if anyone's interested in com commercial real estate editorial wise, um, that's great that we regularly cover real estate over here. Um, it's yeah. a huge category for us. 
what? Sorry. I said, we appreciate you guys running those commercial spots because you have a great following yeah. for that. Yeah, definitely. And that's another thing. We just love doing this too. And it's, it's great exposure for the agents and the broker. And it's great that we're able to communicate, start a dialogue, see what's going on in the real estate market. So that's awesome. Well, I think that's all I have for today. Um, Kelly, if there's anything else you'd want to tell our audience, but I think you covered it all. And for everyone listening, if you got, want to go to kellysoldit.com, and if you're interested in being on the show, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn or give us a ping over here. So, all right. Thank, thank, you, thank you so much, Kelly. Bye. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.